going on guys, Lawson here. So, mixing things up a little bit today. Gonna do a bit of a challenge video and on top of that, a micro fishing challenge video with a budget behind it. Gonna see if we can just spend $10 buying some lures at Walmart and we're gonna use some little thing to fish for uh, bass and panfish, tilapia, cichlids, all that kind of stuff. You know, just something a little different. I haven't done a micro fishing video. I think I've only ever done one and just wanted to mix things up and the weather is horrendous today it has been for the past couple days unfortunately it's been slowing me down a lot fishing wise and we tried to go out this morning and the wind was gusting to 35 miles per hour just constant raining pretty much got nothing done fished for five hours and just got nothing done so I figured i'd mix something up and do something a little different for you guys but we're gonna run to walmart real quick buy some lures and see what we can get after today Alright, back to the car, just finished shopping, only bought a handful of things, total was $9.48, so we are in the clear, let me show you what we got here. Some tiny micro swim baits, picked up some other little micro swim baits, kind of in a green, almost a, a cichlid like color, I think those will work well in areas where there's a lot of juvenile cichlids, large mouth and uh, bigger brim eat little cichlids and other cichlids eat other cichlids. And then, just because I thought it'd be really cool and funny to catch a fish on this, a tiny Strike King square bill right there. Just a micro sized square bill. So that is what we're dealing with here. And I will talk about the rod that I'm using a little more when we get to the first spot, but we're about to hit the first spot. All right, I made it out to where I'm gonna be fishing. It is raining semi hard, not really, but enough to where I need to put this camera away. So we're gonna hop on to the uh, GoPro here and just roll from here because it's a little more waterproof than my actual camera. But I'm gonna start off throwing one of those really small uh, kind of tilapia cichlid color swim baits. Oh gosh, there's a nice fish falling it up. Oh, I had a fish on right there. Damn it, dude. I'm getting bites. I'm not hooking any fish, though. There's a nice fish. Stay pinned. I don't know what I have. This is a big fish. Oh, this is a big old tilapia. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. I'm only using six pound test here, so hopefully it doesn't break coming on. I hate flipping them into grass, but I can't walk down any further because it's flooded. Ooh, he just popped off. <laughs> hey, well, there he goes. That was a blue tilapia. Well, first fish down. That was a big tilapia. I don't know if I've ever caught one of those. I've caught one on a spinnerbait before in a video, but the, other than that, I think that's the only one I've ever caught, really. And uh, right there in our little swim bait. Ooh, I can see there's a whole mess of them sitting back in there is what's going on. Like, I can see a bunch of them. So I might be able to catch a few out of here. That would be fun. Ooh, there's one. Ooh, this is a nice fish. No, just fighting hard. Ooh, there we go, mine cichlid. Beautiful fish. These are just some of the most beautiful fish. I would put them right behind peacock bass in terms of just pretty, pretty fish, man. They got some little teeth on them too. Beautiful, beautiful mine cichlid right there. Just a medium sized one, if not even kind of a little small. I just wanna throw them out that way so he can get towards the edge of the water and not get stuck up in the grass. The big thing, I mean, with fishing, no matter what you're doing, this is micro fishing, so a little less relevant but i'm getting bit because right in front of me if you can see there's a culvert pipe not a culvert pipe there's almost a, a a little lock to another farm pond right here that's pouring water in through here and so when you find moving water that's where you're gonna find a fish almost all the time especially when there's a lot of moving water around it just makes it so much easier for those fish to be able to feed when there is moving water oh crap something swung out right there and i'm trying to pull it up Oh, there's a nice fish. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Oh, my God. Holy sweet Jesus. 
please get in, please get in, please get in. This is not a tilapia. This is, that is the biggest bluegill. Oh my God, it's a red ear sunfish. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? That is the biggest red ear sunfish I've ever seen in my life. What the heck? Look at the size of this thing. That is insane. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is so insane right there. All right, well, that can be my uh, PB red ear sunfish. I think it's a red ear sunfish right there. That is insanely huge. I'm going to toss him right on the edge. There you go. I would much prefer to lean down and release these fish, but obviously I can't really do that and I'd get them stuck in the grass and the chance they wouldn't be able to get out. So toss them just right onto the edge is probably the best bet here. But that was insane how big that freaking sunfish was. There's a nice fish. Ooh, get his head out. I think it's a big tilapia. Gosh, everything feels so huge on this light tackle. <laughs> oh, it just broke me off. My drag's so loose, too. What the heck? I can see a school of fish still sitting up in there, man. They're just loaded in this little pocket right here. I wish I had something a little heavier. That's what I do. There's fish. Ooh, I think this is a bluegill. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna loosen my drag up on this one. Just a smaller tilapia right here. What's interesting, tilapia are, I believe, typically vegetarian, but because there's so much water flowing out here, I think they're omnivorous, honestly. But they do eat algae and plants and stuff like that. Okay, well, there that one. That one slid right through the mat again. I hate, hate dragging fish over grass, but I literally have no choice when they're heavier size like that. All right, moving on to the next spot. We're gonna come back here and revisit this though, for sure. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys real quick about the setup that I am throwing. I have a love-hate relationship with this setup because it is extremely nice, but it's just so unnecessary. This is a six foot 10 Maglite Gene Loomis E6X on a 1000 Stratic. This is one of the most expensive combos I own and I just never use it, except when I'm doing stuff like this or dock light fishing sometimes. And it is just, so unnecessary to own this expensive of a setup for fishing for panfish and tiny bass or maybe little tarpon and stuff. Just don't do it. Don't buy the setup, but it's a really nice. Like when I use it, it's extremely nice and really enjoyable, but you don't use heavy drag or anything. Like you use super light drag when you're using this thing. And I'm throwing six pound mono on it. It's just very extra as a white girl would say, but I love using it. It's super nice, but you could use a $20 micro light combo and accomplish pretty much the exact same thing. Now, maybe if you got into a situation where you hooked like a 35 inch snook throwing a micro light, which is very possible, it would be great to have this. But when you're fishing for panfish and tilapia and cichlids, it's just so unnecessary. But that being said, it's great. <laughs> All right, tried fishing a few other spots, but I've returned to the honey hoe right here. Throw in a green little swim bait here now. Just something a little different. I ran out of those black ones actually, but I think the green will get the job done just as well. There's one. Ooh, nice. Not huge, but he's fighting well. I think it's a, ooh, another big, this is a big bluegill. Oh my gosh. Still not even as big as the first one. That's a bluegill. The first one was a red or sunfish. Wow, he is like one of the most beautiful bluegills I've ever seen. Just super iridescent, almost purple looking. That is awesome. I'm, I'm like having such a great time catching bluegills and tilapia and cichlids and stuff like that. Awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> that hit me right in the neck. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. There's one. Oh gosh, this feels like a good fish. Ooh, 
Wow. He's trying to get me up in the bushes. What the heck? Where is this thing going? It's just a big tilapia. Oh, it's popped off. Gosh. What the heck was that about? I saw on the surface. It was just a tilapia like this long, though. There's a fish. Oh, God, he's woke up. Oh. Big old mine cichlid. Come on. <laughs> he's like caught. My lure's caught in this bush. All right. Nice mine cichlid right there. This is like a good size one. They get bigger than this as well. But bigger one, his colors aren't as cool as the little one I caught. But we've caught a huge bluegill, a huge red ear sunfish, nice size tilapia, nice size mine cichlid. I'm having just a ton of fun today. We're just going to drop him right here. Off he goes. We'll take a few more casts here. Oh God, oh my God, that was a tarpon. Are you kidding me? He just broke me off. Oh my gosh. I started reeling it really fast, reeled in and a freaking tarpon came up and ate it. Oh my gosh. It was only like a one pounder, but I mean, probably like five pounds, but gosh, that was sweet. I can definitely say, I know, I mean, I know there's tarpon here because I've caught them here before, but I just really wasn't expecting that, throwing these little tiny lures and I was ripping that pretty fast and he just freaking hammered it. I'm curious if he was following it the whole time or if he just like saw it ripping by and ate it. All right, I think this will be last cast for the night, losing our light here. Oh God, that was another tarpon. Oh, I saw him roll. Okay, maybe that won't be our last cast. Never mind. Forget I said anything. All right, actual last cast now that I freaking have hooked a tarpon on my, what was gonna be my real last cast. And we're done. Back home, what a strange night it turned out to be. I really didn't have super high expectations. I don't think you really ever do when you go like micro fishing because you're fishing for small fish typically, but it was just a ton of fun. I honestly haven't had that much fun fishing in a while. You know, sometimes as an angler, Maybe you guys don't feel it, I feel it a lot. I get stagnant fishing in the same areas, same spots, all that kind of stuff for the same species. So even something as simple as fishing for brim and cichlids just like brought the life back into me today. It was really great. And <laughs> a new PB, if, you know, let's say a sunfish, a red ear sunfish PB, not anything to write to a mama about, but that's still a lot of fun and something really cool. That was one of the biggest brim I've ever seen in my life. He was a chunker for sure. And had fun catching a lot of tilapia and then just randomly hooking two freaking tarpon at the end of the night, which I knew there was tarpon out there, but I just really didn't expect to catch them doing the micro fishing, throwing these tiny little baits. But I mean, tarpon love little baits, so I should have been aware of what was going on, but that was really cool, you know? They were working very well. like. That's something I might want to do more often and even take in salt water, maybe go for like snapper and little snook and stuff like that and do that kind of micro fishing. But I had a ton of fun just fighting some fish, light tackle, using that six pound mono. It was a ton of fun. But that is for sure why the tarpon broke off that six pound mono. He can just fray through that so quick, even those little ones. But I'm done for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, something a little different little challenge video. I haven't done one of those in a while, so I figured I'd throw one your way. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm done. See you guys later.